And now we're ready to load the TAC MAN array cart. First of all, I see that the 3D4 well block is installed in the instrument, and I'm going to want to change it out for the TAC MAN array cart block. So what I will do is turn off the instrument at the back, and then open the front of the instrument. I'm going to open up this drawer. And as you can see, this is the 384 well block. I'll set this in here. Close this drawer. And then I will take out the TAC MAN array block. And if you look at this block, you see that it's flat. Okay. And I'm just going to set that here into this tray. And close it. The block's in. Close the instrument and turn it on in the back. And then the touch screen will boot up and we are ready to put in the array card holder and the array into the side of the instrument. Now we're going to change the 384 well card holder to the TACMAN array card holder. And now, we are truly ready to load our TACMAN array card. We have the TACMAN array block, the TACMAN array card holder, and here we go. I'm going to press the red eject button to open up the tray. And now I'm going to put the array card into the array holder. The, the barcode faces towards me. I press the red button again. The card's now loaded. On my touch screen, I'm showing that we have the TACMAN array one microliter block, and I'd like to run the appropriate protocol. So in my shortcut menu down here, I have the run the VIA7 TACMAN array delta delta CT protocol. I'm going to choose that protocol, and then we have an experiment name, reaction volume, barcode number if I would like to use that, and notes if I would like. I'm going to press start the run now. Okay, my TACMAN array card experiment is done. I'm ready to collect results. So I hit the collect results tab. I insert my USB into the USB drive. Okay, I'm copying the results. It says please do not remove the USB drive. Collection is complete. I hit okay, remove my drive, and off to my computer to analyze the results.